ask you is in your husband's book, Good Call, mm -hmm. he, he talks about your courtship and how the both of you maintained your virginity before you were married. And I wanted to know if you would recommend that for all the young couples. And if so, what specific advice or counsel could you give to young folks today who are considering getting married and, and trying to stay chaste before marriage? Well, I would definitely recommend it. Um, although it's not easy. It was very difficult. We dated for almost three years. But, you know, God had this plan before we were ever born. And so if you trust God with all your heart, soul, and mind, He's not going to do you wrong. And so we try. We're not perfect, but we try really hard to do that. And that's one thing that we did accomplish, and we waited till our wedding night. We have no memories of anyone else, you know, in our past. We have no baggage. We have no diseases that we have to take care of. So, you know, yes, I would definitely recommend it. God recommended it many, 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 many moons ago. And, you know, it it just works out that way. Jay said um, his, his buddies would make fun of him when we were dating, and they would say, how are you going to know what to do? And he says, now he says, look, I got three kids. We figured it out, <laughs> you know. So it's not rocket science. So, uh, yes, and, and would I recommend it? Yes, I recommend it to my own children. And, and so far they have also. So I think it's a big goal, but it's very attainable. And do you think that strengthened your marriage from the beginning? Oh, no doubt about it. helped your family? Oh, no doubt. Definitely. We built that on a spiritual foundation, and we've been married for 23, almost 24 years. So I wouldn't regret any of it. Also in the book, your husband talks about how he believes the opportunities that have been given to the Robertson family and, I, and, I, and the show as well. He says it's a means to help spread a pro-Christian, pro-family message. Um, do you believe that, that God gave you this opportunity to, to do that? 100%. We didn't go out looking for this. <laughs> it came know, to you. It came to us, dropped in our lap, basically. And uh, we had to make a decision. We've seen a lot more reality shows on television that have torn families apart. And we had to make a decision if we wanted to do this or not. And we had even a list of pros and cons. We said, you know what, we're going to stick together no matter what. And we're going to show who we are. We didn't change and become someone that you see now. We're the same people that we were before. Now we're just more well known. You know, um, Our faith has always been out there and loud and proud, but now more people are hearing about it. Is right. that a coincidence? No doubt in my mind that God put us in this position. I just hope that we are you know, fulfilling that for Him, that He is pleased with us because you know He gives, He can take away. Right. So. Well, and the show is so extremely popular. I think it's the highest rated show in cable TV history. Do you think, I mean, that's obviously sort of an indication that at least the message or whatever's right. going on right. in the family has a market here in the United States. Do you think that there, there's a strong yearning in America for the type of message and uh, entertainment that your family is bringing forth? A strong yearning for that Christian family message? Obviously, I would say because of the popularity of the show, yes. The answer to that is just a simple yes, because we hear it everywhere we go. Um, the, the prayer at the end of the show, who would have thought that a simple prayer would have had that big of an impact on the world when right. years ago you didn't leave the table without saying a blessing, you know. Um, so, yeah, and, and, you know, we feel like that, that this is a way for us to get that message out. And we're not going to shove it down anybody's throat. You know, God is going to be the judge of all people, not us. We just want to be able to appeal to people so they can learn more, want to learn more about this Jesus, who is this character, and why our family works. Why, why are we not um, broken apart? Why are we not you know, pushing people, yeah, putting people down and um, throwing people under the bus, as they say, but just supporting and laughing, too, and having fun and just being a normal American family who has very high priorities and goals for their life. So, and do you think those high goals in the American family and the, and the Christianity that you're talking about is maybe part of the reason why some folks, maybe who were questioning Phil Robertson very critically and, and, and going after your family in many ways, I mean, your husband talks about spiritual warfare in his book. Do you think... That's at play as well. The no. oh, yes. and the attacks against your, your Definitely, show. yeah. Um, a lot of people want to want to keep us quiet. You know, they right. don't like that. 
and um, but we're we're not going to be quiet. We just we just can't. You know, we're not going to be um, bullied, basically. So, and if you know anything about Phil Robertson, he's not going to be bullied. Yeah. <laughs> he no, like that, no, he's not. He's self assured, and you know, a lot of people thought that what he was talking about in that interview was his own opinions but he was quoting scripture. He just mm-hmm. knows the scripture so well, he didn't have to go get the Bible and lay it out. He just started quoting. Right. And so um, that's where people, I think, were misled, thinking, oh, that's just coming out of his mouth as an opinion. But it wasn't. So, you know, I think a lot of people, because they, they see us as Christian, there is spiritual warfare out there. Not everyone is Christian. We all know that. And, um, but we hopefully are trying to show Jesus through love and not judgment and criticism. We don't want to be looked at that way. Jesus came here, yes, with the sword to make sure that people knew right from wrong. But that's not for us to decide. God is the judge, not us.